briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1997 case, Bolding v. Commissioner, explored the idea that taxpayers cannot change what really happened to obtain tax benefits. Dennis and Dixie Bolding, a married couple, appealed a case involving their income tax returns from 1988 to 1990. Dennis, a cattle rancher, formed Three Forks Land and Cattle Company in 1983 and had lent around $500,000 to the corporation before 1990. The case centered on a $250,000 line of credit from a bank, which the tax court found was made to Dennis, not the corporation. As a result, the court did not allow the net loss claim or net operating loss carrybacks as the loan did not have a sufficient basis in the corporation's stock or debt. The Boldings appealed, arguing that the loan increased their basis in the corporation. The court held that the taxpayer had deposited the loan proceeds into the corporation's account as a loan, entitling him to full deductions. Despite the tax court correctly finding the taxpayer as the sole borrower, it erred in concluding he did not advance funds to the corporation. The judgment was ultimately reversed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.